What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Dominic Rich. I didn't really want to talk about the UEFA Nations League anymore to be honest, but when I think about it, that's all that there's going to be in terms of European international football for a while. UEFA Nations League, a few friendlies here and there and World Cup qualifiers coming up, but the UEFA Nations League, you just can't ignore it. And the reason why I say that is that UEFA are a bunch of frauds. And the reason why I'm saying that they're a bunch of frauds is that, look, no disrespect to Croatia, you guys know I love Croatia, national team and all, but they should have been in League B and not in League A. They got relegated from the first Nations League and they should have not be in League A anymore. But what did UEFA go and do? They, they switched up the whole format. They, they modified the format. Sweden, who are in this group, got promoted and they chose to... Yeah, Sweden could stay there, but Croatia could also stay there. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think that was the right thing to do. I think the original format should have been persisted with. And things should have just went on like they started because it was a very successful first edition of the Nations League. And what, what I like about the first edition is that it basically exposed what teams needed to do. And Croatia was exposed. They knew that they needed to work towards certain things. Uh, they, they did World Cup qualifiers and they did, they, did, they did well. And I would have expected them to go down to League B and work their way back up to League A. And that would have been more fun. But right now, it seems as if they're going to get relegated again. Because after that performance, it seems like they're definitely going to get relegated again. 4-1 win for Portugal at the Estadio do Dragao with goals from Manchester City's João Cancelo. We had Diego Jota of Wolves scoring his first international goal. João Felix of Atletico Madrid scoring his first international goal. And then Bruno Petkovic scored his sixth goal for Croatia in his ninth appearance. And lastly, Andre Silva with the last kick of the ball put one past Dominic Livakovic, who had a busy, busy day in goal. A way more busier day than the opposite goalkeeper, Anthony Lopez, who was rewarded after a stellar season with Olympic Lyon. So this game, man, this game... Croatia has a lot of takeaways from this game, but they can't really be too harsh on themselves. This is the first match after a long time. You know, we had to deal with the coronavirus all year, and the team didn't have enough time to gel, and Zlatko Dalic basically put out a kind of experimental 11. So these guys can't really be too harsh on themselves. But the thing is, they lack the intensity. They really, really lack the intensity in this game. I got to move from there because I have my son here and he's like, came exactly where I am to make noise. I don't know why he did that. But they lack the intensity on the day. They couldn't match what Portugal brought to the table. And I think this is now their sixth game against Portugal and they have, they, they have failed to, to win a single one. And that was only their second goal scored against Portugal. But Portugal brought their A game. Remember, guys, Portugal are the inaugural champions. Well, the champions of the inaugural UEFA Nations League when they defeated Netherlands. And they came out and played today like champions. The team looked good. Fernando Santos didn't play around with his lineup or anything. He just put out a very, very strong lineup. Despite not even having Cristiano Ronaldo in your team, you still sprang Croatia. The 2018 World Cup finalists, 4-1. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's look, look, look. That's a, that is sending a statement right there. That is sending a very, very powerful statement that Portugal, they came to play no games. You know what I'm saying? They, they didn't come to play games. I got to move back over here because he's following me, you know. They didn't come to play any games at all. They didn't come to play any games. They went out there. And they put out a very, very, very good performance. Croatia, I think, they were on their back foot for most of the time. They were on their heels. They didn't really look like... They, they just looked like they were still on vacation, to be honest. Dominic Livakovic, he looked like, you know what I mean, he was up for the challenge. But the defense that was ahead of him, man. Vida, Lovren, these two veterans, I think, should have done better. And on the... On the look, look, look. In the fullback positions, Barisic... And Yedvai, these guys were awful. 
These guys are awful. I know I'm being harsh, but even for the second goal there, the, the, the Jota goal, come on, man. Yet, Val, you have to put some more life. You have to put some more life, some more energy into your game. You just basically stroll back there and Jota just did his thing and scored. You got to do better than that. And that was even after Portugal had hit the post on numerous occasions. So it ended 4-1. It could have been a, an ugly scoreline like the 6-0 that happened in the last Nations League against Spain. Croatia, they, they fought hard. They almost survived. They did survive because UEFA. They did survive the drop, I should say, because UEFA changed up the format. But it seems like Croatia, when it comes to the UEFA Nations League, are not very, very good starters at all. But... Zlatko Dalic, as I said, he did not start the best 11 because Modric wasn't in the team. I, I, I don't really... Guys, just let me know what's going on with Modric because I don't understand why he wasn't in the setup. Maybe he's being rested. Maybe he has an injury. I didn't really look too much into that. But with the likes of Pasilic, who had a good season for Atalanta, Kovacic, who had a good season for Chelsea, then Rebic, Brekalo, and... The likes of um, Vlasic just ahead of, of them with Andre Kramaric up top. An okay team, but it could have been a stronger team, in my opinion, if you had the likes of Rakitic, Modric, Ivan Peritric, and or even Brozovic from the start. The right back position, Vasaliko, he was in the on the bench, but he's always injured, you know. And Yedvai just Sometimes he, he has good games sometimes and other games he's very bad. The left back position always seems to be a problem for Croatia. It always seems to be a problem. So that's an area that they definitely need to strengthen. I see that they called up a lot of new players. I know about the players, but I haven't really been paying attention to the Croatian league for quite some time. But I see some new faces in the squad and I'm happy for those guys that they actually got to call up. Bruno Petkovic, I'm happy for him. He still plays at Dinamo Zagreb. He came off the bench. He scored there. Perisic, Brozovic off the bench. And they look like a better team when those players were actually on the field. So I have to say for the guys on the field, from the start, they had to step up. They had to step up the game. And hopefully, we all see a better performance from Croatia against France. A rematch of the World Cup final next week. It's going to be difficult. France are defeated. Sweden in the other game, one goal to nail, courtesy of a Kylian Mbappe goal, will be coming full guns blazing because when you look at their squad, oh my god. <laughs> Croatia, you're in for something again when you play France. You're definitely in for something. Some may argue that Croatia does play better at home and that is true. So we, we, we're going to see. We're going to see how they fare in the remaining Nations League matches. But that's for Portugal, though. Portugal are looking good. They are looking very good to defend their title. They have France to deal with. They have Sweden. It's a very, very tough group. We see they, they, what they did against Croatia. And these guys, look, look, these guys are playing absolutely no games. No games at all. Look at this team. Lopez. You have Pepe at the right age of 37, still going strong. Alongside him, a young 23-year-old defender in Ruben Diaz. Right back, João Cancelo, he was, he was imperious today. Didn't make a, a little error for the final, you know, the, the Bruno Petkovic goal there. But you can't be too harsh on him. He reached and he did the control properly. Left back, Guerrero. Guerrero was scintillating again on the day. So, look, you have João Martino in the middle. Come on, man. Danilo Pereira, Bruno Fernandes, what a team. João Felix, what a team, man. What a team. It, 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 it's, it's a ridiculous... You know, look, this Portugal team is just teasing, man. It's just teasing. It's just teasing. With the likes of Silva coming off the bench. Gonzalo Guedes, Francisco Trincao, the new Barcelona signing. Bernardo Silva, who was on the... You know, look, 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 look. I could go on and on and on about this Portugal team and it would take up a whole, like, 10 more minutes. But it was a great performance by Fernando Santos and his boys. They went out there. They meant business right from the start. Like, this is the first international match since the, you know, the, the long break we had. No, no summer international football. 
and they seem like they mean business. As for Croatia, it was a total, total opposite, and they have a lot of things to work on. Definitely do. Cristiano Ronaldo didn't feature, but he was there, and we'll probably get to see him next week when they face Sweden. I think it's Sweden they're playing, right? I am, I am getting this right, right, guys? But guys, that's all for now. I have my little son here putting toys in the sink right about now. So I got to go and tend to him. Ten minutes is way, 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 way too much. But Croatia, they shouldn't be too harsh on themselves. First game, they could bounce back. But guys, I'm your boy Dominic Rich. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video. And until next time, peace out. Rich, score hood.